Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and today I want to go over something that is really frustrates me that I see um, happening and being spread over the internet about my father God. And that is that he is judging the world right now. That all the earthquakes, the fires in Colorado, wherever they are, the fires, the earthquakes, the floods, the tornadoes, the hurricanes, and all the destructive weather, the uh, uh, groups of animals, fish dying, falling out of the sky, the birds, and so on. <laughs> well, fish well, maybe they fell out of the sky, I don't know, but they were dead. Birds falling out of the sky. But, and that is that God is judging the world. Okay, first of all, let me, let me just go over a few scriptures. And one of them is um, 2 Corinthians 5.19. And this is the most important one. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them okay so God is not judging the world yet not until the Christian gets taken out and the rest of the scripture goes on to say that God has given us the ministry of reconciliation okay reconciliation means to bring them back to God now the word says the goodness of God lead the goodness of God leads to repentance. You get people saved not by saying you're a sinner, you're going to hell, you broke the ten commandments, you're getting what you deserve. That's not how you get people saved. You get people saved by the goodness of God, just the way Jesus did. He laid hands on them, he healed them, he raised the dead, he cleansed the leper, he cast out demons, he showed his disciples how to prosper financially, getting money out of the fish's mouth, uh, multiplying their businesses, all the fish they caught, they were fishermen, and all the fish they caught in their nets. He showed them how to be a fisher of men, and that is by blessing people, not by cursing them. So God is not judging the world. God is not behind all this crazy weather. The devil is. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And you, you know, aren't going to get people saved saying, ah, God caused that fire in Colorado, and it killed your kids, it killed all your horses, it burned down your house, and they're going to say, whoopee, I want to serve that God. The goodness of God leads to repentance, okay? Not judgment, and this is not judgment. Basically what happens, the word says that uh, the earth rocks to and fro and that the that the wor world shifts because of sin on it. It was never created to hold sin, and there's so much sin in the world that it's busting out, okay? It's overflowing, it's like a sponge. Uh, you put a sponge, sit it right here in my town, and you fill it with water. Well, when it gets so full, it's going to overflow, okay? The earth can't take all the sin, and all this stuff is happening as a result of sin, as a result of Satan being the god of this earth, because he stole that position from men. And anyway, so get back to this. Goodness of God leads to repentance, okay? Uh, and, and God is going to be judging the world after we're raptured. Uh, not now. We're not, we're not um, appointed to wrath or God's judgment. And we'll never be judged because when God looks at us, he sees Christians through the blood of Jesus. We're righteous and right, and right standing, not because of our behavior, our faith, or our obedience, but because of what Jesus did. He made us right with God. So the world is not getting judged yet. He wants the world to receive Jesus, okay? So the goodness of God needs to repentance. Not all this bad stuff happening in the world, and that's a pet peeve of mine, uh, because I, I'm all about the joy of the Lord, and you have joy of the Lord when you know how good He is, and how much He loves you. And God is a good God. If we see goodness as our child being healed, not sick, if we see goodness as us prospering and having enough money to bless people and live a good life, God's even better yet. Okay? So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get off of it. My name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Check out my books. Check out my published books coming out September or sometime around there. Uh, get on my website. Uh, learn to walk in God's power and God's presence. And just be filled with joy because of that. And I'll talk to you.